Hi everyone, it's Amri, and today I'm gonna be taking you along and showing you all the progress and updates of what I've been doing with the yearlings. For yearlings, we have Carrot Cake, Blue Jean, and Hank. I've been working with them for the past month, and I'm just super excited to show off all the groundwork and desensitizing that I've been doing with them. I feel like they have passed the test where at this point, there's really not much more for me to do. And pretty soon they'll be headed back up to Flagstaff to spend some time at my dad's house, turned out in pasture, just to grow up and be horses, and then come back next spring and we'll actually be able to put a few rides on them when they're two-year-olds. But what I've done with them as yearlings is more than I've done with a lot of my other horses. It's all groundwork. It was really easy on them, but it just made them more well-rounded. And I'm really excited because I feel like I am saving myself a lot of trouble when it comes time to the two-year-olds because they're already going to be ready to accept all of the training. I'm excited to take you along, so we need to go get these guys caught. baby's caught and step one or a big part of what I've been doing with them is tying them up where they can't see each other because they grew up together they need to learn to be alone and be and learn that that's okay to be alone and then it's good just to teach them patience teach them they need to stand still while tied to a solid object so that's step number one and I'll work with them one at a time we got Hank over here blue jeans over there and carrot cake is right over there. They still might be able to see each other a little bit, but the idea is that they have to have separation and actually like talking back and forth might make them want to be with each other, but they just got to learn to have to stand still and be okay not being right next to their buddies. We are going to start out with Miss Carrot Cake. And as you guys know, I'm huge on desensitization. So of course we've got to start out with the crazy dance. There's a few other things in there too, but you know I love my crazy dancing. As you can tell, Carrot Cake's pretty much falling asleep back here. I love that, that's how I want them to be. Now let's get to some of the body movement and cues I've been working on her with. Now I've had some people ask if I work on this, 
And the answer is no, I don't really teach ground tie training. It's just funny that the more you work with the horse, horses are naturally lazy. And so the groundwork I do just teaches them if they're going to move their feet, I'm going to make them move their feet, but standing still is a much easier answer. And they actually just get to the point where they want to stand still. And I love that. Okay, the next thing I've been practicing with all these colts is acting like I'm a farrier coming to town to put some shoes on or even just trim them up. So I got a hoof pick now. There's nothing really to clean up out of their feet because they don't have shoes on. But I just practice as if there is. I kind of bang on it a little bit and just get them used to the noise and all that stuff. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I am going to try to show you on a foot. Um, it might be a little weird doing this with a phone in my hand, but I kind of try to get their feet, their foot in between my legs. Get it like this, I'll just kind of scrape it out as if there's something to be scraped out. I'll turn it around to this side, practice nailing some nails in. I'll pretend like I'm scraping something out. Pretend like I've got to clench the other side. And just kind of get them used to that and just sit here and hold it for a little bit too. And then when I do give it back to them, I like them to know that I'm the one that gives it back. So I like to be the one that sets it down on the ground. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to show you with carrot cake I worked on with all the colts and this is the first time that I have taught a horse this young how to do this but overall the concept is you got to get above your horse and it's really good to practice getting above them before you ride them because sometimes the scariest part of being rode is just having a person up there they're not used to their eyesight of seeing something above their head like that so that can be the scariest thing 
I'm gonna show you what I did, but basically I just get above them and I get them used to that so they're not afraid of me being up there. And when it comes time to riding them as two-year-olds, it's going to be so easy. that I taught these babies that was the funnest thing for me was teaching them to come up to the fence like that and just think about it when it comes time to actually get on them it's going to be so easy I feel like they are very well prepared come their two-year-old year to start riding them there is one more thing that I do want to show you that I worked on them with I was preaching about this I preach it to everyone I think it's important even if you have an old dead broke horse I think this is something to practice so let me show you what that is Well guys, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed everything I did with Carrot Cake. I'm gonna go get Blue Jean and Hank and do the same thing. And as long as I have enough phone battery, I'm gonna try to film all of them too and add that in as well so you can see everything I've done. Everything that I did with Carrot Cake, I've done with Blue Jean and Hank. And believe it or not, Carrot Cake was actually the worst out of all of them because she's a little bit feisty. She settled down a lot, but the other two are actually farther along, so I thought it would be cool to show Carrot Cake because she made a lot of progress. And just so everyone knows, before I ever got to doing things in the arena, I did a lot of round pen stuff. I probably spent a whole week in the round pen with these guys. If you haven't seen me do round pen work before, I did it with Sully and Wasabi, and I'm going to link that video right here. So go check that out. It's the same basic concept. Of course, these guys took a little bit longer because they were older, but I did basically everything in the round pen first, and then I moved to the arena because the arena's bigger and they have more freedom there, so they might want to be a little bit friskier and it kind of tests the boundaries a little bit more. So I definitely start out in the round pen and I recommend that. In case I run out of phone battery, I'm gonna tell you now, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We really appreciate the support everyone gives us. And if you enjoy our content, it goes a long way in subscribing. And then it also lets you guys stay up to date with all these training tips and adventures that we go on. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you guys are loving all the horses that we get to work with as much as we are. Carrot Kick is trying to jump through the camera and say hi right now. But I just want to say thank you, subscribe to our channel, have a great day, keep watching the video because I am going to put some footage in of Blue Jean and Hank. <laughs>
Well, it's a new day. Yesterday, my phone died. I actually had 1% right as I was finishing up Hank. It was starting to get late anyways, and I really do want to at least get some videos of Blue Jean, if not for anyone else, for my own personal memories. So I decided to change some things around. I'm going to work her today so that I can show all the progress that Blue Jean has made as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to be adding in Blue Jean progress training videos. <laughs> All right, and that is that. I am all done with these yearlings. We are actually headed back to Flagstaff today. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be coming at you with some Flagstaff videos. I hope you enjoyed all the cult progress, the yearling progress. If you guys wanna stay up to date with all my horse training tips, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when all the new videos come on. Mm -hmm.